Johann Liebert undoubtedly utilized the 48 laws of power to manipulate and deceive his unsuspecting victims. His tactics were cunning and his methods were dark, making this video somewhat crude and unsettling for some viewers. However, if you are striving for success, then it is crucial to understand the harsh reality of power dynamics. The desire for power is a fundamental human need. We all want to feel in control of our lives and the people around us. It's a feeling of security that keeps us grounded and motivated. But when we're stripped of our power, it can be an unbearable feeling. The sense of helplessness makes us feel vulnerable and miserable. Nobody wants to feel powerless. We all want to feel like we're in command. However, in today's world, it's not socially acceptable to appear too power hungry. We must maintain a facade of fairness and decency. It's not enough to be overt with our power moves. One wrong move and we risk being perceived as manipulative or untrustworthy. We must be careful not to reveal our true intentions or motivations. Before we get into that, let me tell you something. I know you're not the least bit serious about this video because up to this point you've watched tens, if not hundreds, of these types of videos. But I can assure you that this video is different. Throughout this video, you will witness Johann's calculated moves, his carefully crafted words, and his ability to control those around him with ease. This law explores the powerful human need to look for something to slavishly adhere to and believe in. It takes use of people's innate desire to support a cause or a leader. The key is to appeal to people's desire for meaning and redemption in order to build a devoted following. Johann Liebert skillfully used Law 27 to cultivate a cult-like following. Johann has a magnetic charisma that draws others in and makes them trust in him in a way that makes him seem almost supernaturally godlike. He skillfully plays on their deepest fears and desires, taking advantage of people's need to believe in something bigger than themselves. Remember that people are looking for something to believe in, not necessarily something that is entirely logical or rational. They want to feel like they are part of something bigger than themselves, and that they are making a difference in the world. It is your job to tap into this desire and provide them with a cause or faith that they can rally behind. Learning the game of power requires a certain way of looking at the world, a shifting of perspective. It takes effort and years of practice, for much of the game may not come naturally. Certain basic skills are required, and once you master these skills, you will be able to apply the laws of power more easily. My book, E Mastering Manipulation, will help you gain those skills and achieve a cunning mindset. This contains information that will rip you off your humanity and make you a manipulative mastermind. I warn you to use this carefully. This is not for the faint-hearted. Click the link in the description to grab your copy. By taking a shape, by having a visible plan, you open yourself to attack. Be malleable, adaptable, and on the move makes you ungraspable except that everything, everywhere, changes, and embody this truth. By being as fluid as water, you protect yourself from the ever-shifting nature of reality. By refusing to adapt and to change, you fail to evolve, and your power will be usurped. The powerful are constantly adapting, and their power comes from the speed at which they can change. Johann operates as a chameleon, seamlessly shifting between identities, emotions, and motivations to align with his goals. This adaptability significantly contributes to his formidable power. Whether playing the role of a charming stranger, a vulnerable victim, or a sinister mastermind, he executes each with remarkable skill. This dynamic flexibility keeps those around him off balance and uncertain, making it nearly impossible to anticipate his next move. The lesson Johann imparts through his embodiment of Law 48 is crystal clear. Adaptability is a potent tool in the pursuit of power. The capacity to change and mold oneself to fit various circumstances allows one to stay a step ahead of the competition, mirroring Johann's strategic finesse. This principle focuses on the skill of recognizing and taking advantage of a person's imperfections anxieties or vulnerabilities. 
it admits the existence of what is figuratively referred to as a thumbscrew, a special weakness that can be used to exert influence, control, or even manipulation when it is targeted. Johann Liebert is an excellent example of an exceptional grasp of this law due to his deep comprehension of human psychology. Johann has a remarkable ability to read people's innermost desires, anxieties, and insecurities. He uses this ability to his advantage in a variety of circumstances. By using this calculated tactic, he is able to maintain psychological influence over both followers and enemies by successfully controlling their decisions and actions. Johann's manipulation of Dr. Tenma is a startling example of how he put this law into practice. Johann deftly manipulates Tenma into being his unintentional guardian by taking advantage of her sense of shame and duty for having saved him as a child. Johann takes advantage of Tenma's fragility, knowing that her guilt acts as a strong thumbscrew to keep Tenma twisted in a web of psychological control. Law 43 is primarily concerned with the use of extreme manipulation, specifically the establishment of trust with persons in order to accomplish one's own goals. Creating loyal allies requires an awareness of individual psychologies and vulnerabilities, as well as the ability to manipulate those aspects of those individuals. It is possible to play on what other people hold dear and fear by easing opposition through emotional engagement. Resentment is aroused when one disregards the feelings and thoughts of other people. In applying Law 43, Johann Liebert offers a convincing case study, especially when it comes to his dealings with Hans Schuwald. Johann had deliberately sought to establish a close relationship with Schuwald. The result was that he gained Schuwald's trust and effectively became his right-hand man. Johann spent a lot of time with Schuwald in order to use Law 43 effectively making himself a consistent presence in Schuwald's life. Johann became Schuwald's go-to person and earned his trust by taking such a tight personal relationship. This trust turned out to be crucial since it gave Johann the ability to significantly affect Schuwald's opinions and choices. Essentially, Johann's strategy for Law 43 was to become an essential part of Schuwald's life, rather than only earning his trust. Johann was vital because he put time and effort into their connection, going above and beyond what was required of him verbally. In doing so, he managed to pervert Schuwald's senses to the point where he not only gained entry into Schuwald's heart, but also into his mind. This deliberate conformity to Law 43 is evidence of the ability to shape others to one's will through the development of emotional and trusting relationships. In addition to earning Schuwald's trust, Johann was successful in creating a psychological dependence that gave him control over Schuwald's emotions, 